Okay, listen up guys. I have a fixed amount of budget for me to spend to buy at least one G-Shock watch every single month. So for this month of April, there are like 16 new G-Shock watches. So I would like you guys to comment down below which one should I get, preferably at this kind of budget. So don't go too overboard. So let's run through all of them one by one. Starting off with this Kelton series, there are like five new models, DW-5600SK, DW-6900 model, GE400 in black and pink, and GA400 in clear and neon green, and lastly, GA700 in clear and gray as well. I like how Casio approaching this new Kelton series with two-tone instead of monotone like they did on their Glacier Gold. I've seen the photo of this two, five, six, and six, nine model in person, like a real photo of it. It looks extremely good because of that mirror faceplate over there. Somehow it looks much better compared to when you're looking at this poster photo. I'm looking forward to get the square or six, nine, but after looking down here, the GA400 SKD, it is pretty bright, but it is very unique. I haven't seen any 400 series that came in clear a jelly band and bezel yet so getting this might might be interesting but it's all up to you guys you guys decide which one should i get moving on to the next series called the retro color series another five models as well awg m100 sbl and NADG model solar powered multiband 6 small size purple and green color combination next you have a ga100 series a basic one with uh, speed measuring capabilities uh, layered with purple strap instead of green like this AWG M100 model and the faceplate does feature a camouflage green so that's pretty interesting next you also have a GA800 series that came in purple and green as well but with green layered strap and you also have a GA100 BL I haven't owned any one of these GA100 before I have a feeling that this GAW100 is sort of like the uh, big size version of this AWG A100 or just an alternative to this G Steel model if you look really closely to the image of this I mean every GAW100 or GAS100 you could see the similarities between this model and this G Steel 100 series that I have they are widget placement the, all of the sub dial even the size are almost the same I have a feeling they are the same thing but different construction so I don't think I'm gonna buy this GAW100 at all even if you guys recommended it even if I buy that I might buying that just for me to to see it by myself either I could swap the engine in and out from this G steel or not so that's gonna be quite interesting 26,000 Japanese yen so yeah quite expensive right so last but not least from this retro color series is the GWB5600BL at only 22,000 Japanese yen Keep in mind guys, I could get all of this at a lower price than stated over here, so keep that in mind. This one will come with negative display in purple, which is very, very rare in my opinion. The strap will come in layered green and black. It matches very well with the one on the bezel, the green accents and all, but I prefer to get the purple instead, but this could work for me still. So talking about Square G-Shock watch, there's also another two one over here if you look at all these three over here they are the same like the function are exactly the same but the price is like there it is this 5000 series cost like triple than the cost to get this 5600 bl model so what are you paying extra for if you are into function don't bother getting this just get the uh, retro color version instead if you want something that is tougher, something that is a lot more comfortable, something that you could actually feel different when you wear it. Get this GMWB5000, so you're paying extra for the different kind of experience. It will come in black in uh, metal bezel and black strap. Another one IP plated metal bezel to blue and also a black strap as well. So it is screw down case back, DLC coated, which means it is a lot tougher than this uh, 5600 version and also this resin strap aren't made from the same material so even though they're still resin they're all poly retained but the one on this 5000 series is much more softer much more comfortable so keep that in mind that is why you're paying extra for a different kind of experience 
So that's done for two series, three series actually. Moving on to the next being this GA2000, the new color series for the just released GA2000 last month in uh, black and yellow, black and blue, and black and red. I just ordered the black and red version, it is on its way. I'm looking forward for that model to arrive somewhere this week, so stay tuned for that unboxing and review video. I'm looking really, really looking forward to that. If you look at all these three black and gold, olive green, and brown version, the price are only at 16,000 Japanese yen, which means they would come with extra interchangeable strap. So even though they look good, it's okay for me to pass because, man, I got the black and red version already on its way. I think that will be much better for the price. And I've seen a uh, Castle G Shock announce that they're gonna be releasing more new color variations for this series, which one of them will be coming in white, white out white. So I'm looking forward to that as well. Okay, down on the GA2000. Last but not least is the GWR B1000X another uh, an extra uplift an upgraded version a higher a premium version for the carbon core structure this is called the carbon monocoque series uh, model they just uh, released this like last month as well and well there it is another one in black and red this is indeed a limited edition model as being stated down here but they didn't mention anything about uh, production units at all if there are going to be like serial number or not if that at a serial number i have a feeling a lot of people are gonna buy this thing right away but since they didn't they didn't mention that at all i don't think this model gonna sold out i mean just look at the price it is like 120,000 japanese yen it added to eight percent tax that is insanely expensive but i can understand why it is a different construction it is tougher than titanium and lighter in weight Look at that, I have a fragment over here. This is one of the most comfortable Master of G model that I have in terms of weight. And this thing, this fragment model will weigh about 75 grams. This new carbon monocoque model will only weigh about 72 grams. Yeah, I could already have a feeling of how it gonna feel like since I own one of these. So it's okay if I didn't buy the watch right away, I'm probably gonna wait. I have a feeling the price is gonna drop a little bit in the future. So yeah, I'm gonna get this model after that happened. But if you look really closely, it does look very, very good. I mean, the price is double from the generic model. I have a feeling that is because of this black and red layered carbon bezel. Unlike the uh, generic model that came in full black, so quite easy to make this one it looks harder it has a black carbon uh, guard over here as well rose gold button guard neural crown and text different textured buttons so a lot of details was uh, added in here the watch face just reminds me of the new MRG G2000 with the uh, cobalt bezel because of that red accents although that one is totally different <laughs> that one costs like eight thousand dollars I mean that is it's just insane man but hey, let me know down in the comment section which one will you get or you won't get anything at all from here. Just let me know. And that sums it all. Thank you very much for watching. This is Jeshef and I'm